Hey, Nelson from Clark Marine. Yes, I'm sitting down on the job today. What I want to do today is I want to take you down under. So let's have a trip. Let's talk about the nose cones. This is an Avalon exclusive. Uh, probably the strongest nose cone in, in, in the pontoon industry. And let me show you why. Number one, we use this one right here as our example. Welding on the back side. Why is that important? Well, you have a hundred thousandths thick piece of aluminum here. By the way, it's one piece. They take one piece, it's all made in a fixture. It's all folded and rounded and formed to the shape. And what that does is it, caught, it has these, what they call the integrated nose cone fins, the splash fins. A lot of other companies don't use this. They tend to weld those, I call them the, 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 the flappy fins on the side, kind of as an afterthought. I never understood that, but that's, that's why these are so much better. Um, 100,000 thick aluminum. It's folded over into this area right here. This is double thickness. So you have 200 thousandths thickness of material. And then it's welded along the back side. This makes it extremely durable. 200 thousandths basically equates to roughly 3 sixteenths of an inch. Just shy of 3 sixteenths of an inch. But that gives you, that's a good thickness. That's a real heavy duty. The other nice thing about the nose cones is they have this basically this edge guard. It's all welded into place uh, in, in strategic areas. That way it, it can't come off. Um, there's a lot of copycats out there that will do this. They don't weld them. They are a press fit you know, component, but Avalon goes that extra step and makes sure that they weld them in strategic areas to make them 100%, they're not coming off. The next big feature that is about the Avalon pontoons is they have these components right here. These are not just splash fins. This is actually part of the riser system. And it's what they call a full length M riser. So in other words, if you were to look down through there, it's hard to see, but the way that they, they build it, it actually forms an M shape. And that ties, and it goes the entire length of the pontoon. It's all welded in strategic areas along the inside on both sides, in addition to the top. And that strengthens and stiffens this particular log immensely. It's probably the stiffest log you're going to get in, in the industry. Uh, it's all through bolted to all the channels, which the channels run the full length of the eight and a half foot wide deck not just eight foot like some other manufacturers do you know they, it's it's a cost cutting measure it's can't fault them for doing it but avalon chooses not to do that that makes their boats a lot more structurally stable uh, next thing that we like to look at along the side over here is how as you can see this is a much better view of the integrated nose cone you can't break those off there's just no absolute way uh, this top piece up here this is basically the only second piece that is, is put on and welded just basically to form the cap but this entire complete piece here from one side to the other is bottom pieces of one piece so it's all formed by machine so that it's exact every single time how they install this and I know this is a little more technical but it's good for you to know how this is done basically this area in here it's crimped in and the nose cone actually fits into it and then it is welded all the way around as the machine and basically the machine rotates the log and that way there the uh, the welder doesn't have to physically move much he can just sit there and do a really good job you know when they talk about stacked dimes well there they are they're stacked just like dimes that's the mark of a high quality weld um, the other thing that is also really exclusive to Avalon is this piece right here. This is what they call a side protector keel. Um, why is it important? Well, most all pontoons will have one on the bottom. You know, that's there to help protect the bottom of the tube. Uh, it also helps in tracking a little bit. It does give you that keel, uh, which all boats have. This just happens to have, be a log, but that does actually help in tracking. But what this more importantly does is this provides a lot of crush protection from your dock. 
Um, this is nothing more than a tin can, soda can. You take a soda can, you kind of crush the sidewall. At that point in time, it, the, the structural integrity is gone. Uh, by adding this one simple feature right here, that just stiffens the side of this. So it's basically like an abrasion resistance uh, against your dog. And the nice thing about the Avalons is this is actually set out just a little bit from your rub rail in this area here. That way there, your rub rail is kind of like the second line of defense. This is the first line of defense. Uh, this is actually, if it had to ever be replaced, could be replaced much easier than this because this is a whole part of the boat. This can be just uh, cut off in these certain areas and we could have a new one put on for you. Um, real nice. The other thing that's about these is, uh, is every log is baffled. Every company does it a little bit differently, but the Avalon, uh, they do their baffles in a number of sections. And how you can tell is right here, you can see the small crease. The baffle is put in and it's welded on the inside. They come down to here. By the way, this is a mechanical weld. That's why it looks a little different. This is one's done by machine. Super, super, super nice. But the next thing is right here. Here's your next baffle. So you have the nose cone compartment. Now you have the compartment midship. The next one you have is a smaller compartment right here. This is another compartment because there's the other baffle that's there. So now you have a baffle. I guess I would call this mid stern. And then you have the full stern baffle. The nice thing about this one here is this is a heavy, heavy gauge nose cone. Um, well, it is a nose cone. It's just the rear of the back. And they call that the, the, the cap for it. Again, a nice heavy duty weld in that particular area. This piece again is crimped and pushed inside so it's not just edge welded. There is actual material inside here a little bit to make the structural integrity of, of this particular whole pontoon uh, just fantastic. They're really, really, really nice. Um, if you come back around here, you can actually see how they do the construction of this. If you can see the rims, the ridges, this is a neat feature. I don't know how many others will do it like this. Some companies stamp them, but this right here, this is basically what they call a spun, uh, a spun cap where they form it on a die and it's, it's all formed perfectly every single time by, by rollers and everything. That's what gives it this spiral look. And that actually gives it some structural strength rather than a smooth piece that was just stamped. This actually gives it some structural strength to it, which is incredible. Um, you can see right here, this is a, a secondary tow hook. You probably could lift the boat with this. This is extremely durable. I don't recommend it, but you know, you can. It is very strong, strong. One other feature that Avalon really likes to include is they like to include a drain. A lot of companies, for some reason, they don't put a drain. I never understood why they don't want to put a drain. I understand a pontoon is not supposed to leak, but let's face it. Someone's eventually going to hit a rock. And if you hit a rock, you're going to poke a hole in it, water's going to get in. Well, how do you get it out? Well, with other manufacturers, the only way you're going to get it out is you're going to what? Drill a hole right here. So you're going to damage your pontoon more. With Avalon, if that were to happen, what we generally do, and it happens, let's face it, that's why they're there and that's why we like this feature. Um, we basically send the boat over to our, to our lo local uh, uh, welder who's uh, very good at it. He has a special gauge set up in here, puts it in. He can put a little bit of air pressure, like three to five pounds. And that way there, he can use a, basically a soapy solution to find where your leak is and get it done and completed in real short order. So minimize your time off the water. Anyways, that's the construction of the Avalon pontoon tubes. I hope you enjoyed our little walk around and hope you understand how they're put together now much better than, than uh, before.